Oh hi, it's Kyle D. Evans here, singing mathematician and general all-round entertainer. I've been answering your uh, maths pop pedantry questions that you've been submitting on social media, on Facebook, Twitter and other social media that I'm too old to understand. Uh, I'm going to answer three of those now ahead of my show on the 21st of February at the old fire station in Oxford for Science Oxford tickets still available. Uh, the first question comes from Tim Hughes at the Oxford Mail who wants to know about those pesky scamps, the Rolling Stones. Uh, and they, in 1967 they were 200 light years from home. He wonders how far from home is that exactly? Possibly as far as Banbury. Now a light year is really just too far to comprehend really compared to things that you've seen before. Uh, even a light second is preposterously long way being about 300,000 kilometres. Uh, which means that the distance to Banbury is about a, th a, a ten thousandth of a light second, so quite a lot less than the distance the Rolling Stones were from home. Now, the Rolling Stones have never actually been into space. We know this because the only musicians that have been into space are David Bowie, The Prodigy, and Babylon Zoo, which means they must have started off on the surface of the Earth and just been moving around the Earth so many times. So if we take a light year and divide it by the circumference of the Earth, assuming that the Rolling Stones are moving around the widest point of the Earth at all times, which is about 40,075 kilometres, we can find out, well, first of all, how many times they would have to circumnavigate the globe, um, which is 236 236,074,859.638 uh, circumferences of the Earth. This 0.638 is the interesting bit, which means they're about half the world away from where they started off. Um, but these distances are so vastly different, a light year or 200 light years, compared to the circumference of the Earth, that if you mismeasured either of them by millimetres, you could land exactly 236,074,859 laps from where you started off, just down to mismeasurement, which means that Pretty much anywhere in the Earth is as likely to be 200 light years from home as each other. So if you want to be 200 light years from home, you might as well basically just be at home. Um, sorry, sorry if that's not the answer you were looking for, Tim, but you can't always get what you want, can you? Uh, my second question is from my favourite Oxfordshire music magazine, Night Shift magazine, uh, who wants to know about uh, the song Motorhead from the album Motorhead by the band uh, Motorhead. Uh, and they're quite intrigued by the lyric, uh, fourth day, five day marathon, moving like a parallelogram. Now, what does it actually mean to be moving like a parallelogram? I don't wish to call Lenny a two dimensional songwriter, uh, but it's no wonder that he's completed a marathon in about the amount of time it took that bloke in the diving bell to do so, because he's moving entirely in a two dimensional way. And it's easier to complete a marathon quicker if you move through three dimensions, not just sliding along the floor like a parallelogram. He, what he wants to be is moving like a parallelopiped. You might do the marathon even quicker still if you harness a way to move through the fourth dimension. Perhaps it would be advised to move like a four parallelotope. Um, that is admittedly tricky. And uh, my third and final uh, question here is from my old mate Sally Lepage. Hi Sally. Uh, who wants to know about Jay-Z's 99 problems. Jay-Z only tells us what his 99 problems aren't, not what they are, she says. Well Sally, you haven't been listening carefully, have you? Because Jay-Z does say in the song, he does mention a few of his problems. Um, things like folks that want to make sure his casket's closed, rap critics who think he's all money, cash, hoes. He does describe some of his problems. Admittedly, he doesn't get that far into them, but that's because you've only heard the regular version. Uh, if you get into the extended version from the studio sessions, he does get more into his uh, lengthier problems. Things like the strange paradox of finding it easier to park in a car park that has just one empty space than one that's full of empty spaces all over the place. Um, the problem of reading a novel and when a new character is introduced, immediately imagining what they look like, only to find in the next paragraph that the novelist describes what they look like. But at that point, it being too late, you've already imagined what they look like, you can't go back to the novelist description. Um, and also his problem with the song Jolly Holiday from the uh, film Mary Poppins, in which case, uh, in which Mary Poppins' verse should end with the line, it's a jolly holiday, indeed. Uh, to rhyme with the word creed from four lines earlier, but actually it ends with the line, it's a jolly holiday, with you, which doesn't rhyme from any part of the her verse, um, nearly spoiling what's otherwise a flawless song. Um, 
it just has similar problems to all of us, really. Uh, you can hear the rest of it in the extended version of the song. Anyway, five minutes is enough pop maths-ish pedantry for anyone. Uh, please get yourself down on the 21st of February, Old Fire Station, uh, to see more of this kind of nonsense. Be there or be a parallelopiped.